today is the perfect fall day. Actually, it's not. It's still really hot out. It's actually it's only 20 today, but it's not officially fall weather, but I feel it. It's Thanksgiving weekend. But yeah, so it's Thanksgiving weekend. I decided that I'm going to try and make the Taylor Swift chai tea cookies that I've never made before, but I always see mother making. So I made a, I tried to make like the pumpkin cold film matcha thing from Starbucks, except that I got lazy and I didn't make it foam. This. Yeah, so it's an almond milk. It doesn't even have like real dairy in it. It's the Cal Califia pumpkin spice creamer. And it's so good. It tastes, I tried it a little bit and it tastes exactly like the pumpkin whole foam from Starbucks. As I said earlier, we're gonna attempt to make the chai cookies that Taylor makes every um, fall. We'll see what happens. I'm also used to work in a bakery, but I'm not much of a baker. But yeah, I'll link the recipe that I'm using down below in case somebody else wants to make it for some reason, but yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. You know, it's super serious when I bring out the hand mixer. Um, yeah, we only use this for real baking, guys. Yeah. We just did all of our Thanksgiving shopping. We got a bunch of desserts and stuff because we're not in charge of the actual dinner. We just had to bring dessert and sides, so. That was easy, but we got so much stuff, guys. Okay, I've got this big thing of butter. I'm supposed to get non unsalted, but we forgot. So we're gonna use some salt. Okay, I did half a cup of butter, and now I'm gonna put it into the bowl, and then I'm gonna mix it until it's fluffy, apparently. I don't know how fluffy this is supposed to get. Like, that's... Like, is that even fluffy? I don't know. Is it supposed to be room temp? Yeah, it's supposed to be softened. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna add oil until it mixes. I'm gonna add how much oil? Have a cup as well. So it's probably not good for you, but, but it probably will taste good. So I got some vegetable oil here. I got a big thing of it. I got some assistance from the crew, aka my dad. Maybe I'll do like just under half a cup. Like that seems like a lot. I don't know guys, we're gonna figure out if this works. It looks disgusting right now. <sighs> it's pretty combined, but it looks disgusting. Like it's just oil and butter. <laughs> sugar, powdered sugar, egg, and vanilla extract. I'm doing, what is it? Half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of powdered sugar, one big egg, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I can do this. Something to know about me is that I get really overwhelmed when I barely bake because I get overwhelmed. So I'm gonna do half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of powdered sugar, one big egg, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Oh my god, guys. I, the last time I used powdered sugar, the last, last time I used powdered sugar was when I was young. And, oh yeah. It was back when, if anyone remembers, that trend where you use marshmallow fluff and like the sugar stuff and it made like, what's it called? I made like a fondant or something like that. That, that was my childhood favorite thing to do. Half a cup of powdered sugar. Okay, it's in there. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, and then I need to put in a large egg. Like, do any of these look really big? I guess like this one. And now I'm gonna wash my hands because I touched raw egg. That's what you're supposed to do. Wash your hands when you touch raw egg. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna mix it all up. It smells all right so far, it just smells like an electric. But I'm gonna try this. I got... Does it make a difference if it's decaf or not? Anyways, I got this chai tea thing from Stash. I don't know. I don't drink tea, so I don't know if it's good or if it's bad or whatever. But whatever. I'm probably never gonna use this again until, like, next fall. But and it says to just cut it up and put... Put this inside. Okay, this is what we're working with. It looks like I put a bunch of black pepper in here, but we're gonna mix it. And it smells really good. I love chai. Okay, mix that in. Let's go to the next step. Okay, we're gonna do the flour. Two cups of flour, one half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay, there goes in the baking soda. 
and then this is gonna we're gonna do one fourth teaspoon of salt. So now I have to place the dough in the fridge for at least an hour to cool. So I think I'm gonna do like two hours just to be safe. Should have wrapped it in cling wrap and put it in there instead of putting it leaving it in the bowl and putting it in the fridge. I also ended up doing an, uh, three hours and three and a half hours, I think. Um, overall, though, they tasted like shit in the end. I'll get more into that at the end. So I, it didn't really matter. It probably wouldn't have affected them. They tasted shitty. Spoiler alert. It's not very good, but here is my dough. Yeah, so it's been three and a half hours in this shot here, and now I'm trying to scoop out the dough into little balls with this um, scooper. And as you can see, it doesn't work. So then I just ended up using a spoon. I don't think I made them big enough. I think they were really small, but I tried my best. And also, my hands were clean. I washed them multiple times. Uh, yeah. And I ended up making 24 of these, as you'll see in the next clip. So here's one tray of them. <laughs> and then here's the other. 24 cookies. And now I'm going to ice them. And then I let them cool off for like 15 minutes, and then I made a little icing concoction with cinnamon, nutmeg, milk, and powdered sugar, and that tasted like shit. Um, my family likes them a little bit, but they taste very flowery and chalky, so yeah. And I didn't do a very good job showing you me icing them. Sorry. Now I'm back at my res, and I didn't get a finished product photo, but just trust me, they were really bad. They tasted like chalk. Um, they just were really flowery and there was no flavor, but I've seen other people making them now and they've been adding two packs of chai tea to it instead of one. So maybe if you do that, it'll taste better. I'm not going to link my recipe down below. You can look up a different one because this one is not good and I would not recommend. Um, my brother kept eating them though. So he, he said they're not terrible. <laughs> it's like a grandma's baking cookie type of thing. Um, and my dad had a few. My mom didn't try them, though. And I took one bite, and I spit it out because it tasted like chalk and flour. So I don't know if this was my fault or Taylor's. Probably my fault. But I tried, at least, you know. And I'm sorry, I didn't get any finished products. But that's just because I made them, and I was so upset about how bad they turned out. Because I was making them from 3 till, like, 7. Like, by the time I was done, it was, like, 7.30. I just wanted to be done, and I wanted them to taste good. And they didn't. Um, but yeah, it's officially the end of Thanksgiving. Well, it's uh, it's Sunday, but I'm I'm back at my res, so Thanksgiving's over for me. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. And comment down below if you ever tried to make these before, because let me know what I did wrong if you make them and they taste good. Okay, bye. Love you.